Here at Google Cloud Security, we recently announced model context protocol servers for our suite of security applications, like Google Security Operations, Google Threat Intelligence, and Security Command Center. The MCP servers enable AI clients to use the APIs exposed by those tools. We also recently shared some runbooks for using those MCP tools. Runbooks capture details in a re reproducible way and save you having to add boilerplate to the prompt. In the video that follows, I'm going to demonstrate use of one of those runbooks. All right, let's test some of these runbooks. I'm going to start with uh, Google Threat Intelligence. This is a collection from a partner. It's unwrapping Ersnith's gifts. And you can see that there are a number of IOCs. Here are a bunch of files that are associated with it. And here are domains. I'm going to focus on the domains for this. So I am going to drag that out of the window and then bring in Klein. Now, this is uh, the runbook that I'm going to use for this, Proactive Threat Hunting Based on GTI Campaign or Actor. You can see it takes an argument. It takes the collection ID. Oops, let me put that back into preview mode. And the number of tools, the list of tools, the order of tools that it uses is first um, the GTI MCP server, get collection report, and then get entities related and so on. Now I'm going to close this from the text editor because I want to ensure uh, that that runbook is found from the dot .cline rules and it's not just in context because it's open in the editor. So I've pre-typed uh, the command here to execute that runbook by calling its name, supplying the collection ID, and then I also added focus only on domains so that this would run a little bit faster. All right, when I kick that off, I expect uh, the first tool in the runbook to be called. And there we go. And put a little more window real estate here. So it is indeed the GTI MCP server, and it's calling the get collection report tool from that. And here's that ID again, and here's that ID being passed as an argument to call that. And here we see the result from that API call. So that's what we're expecting. Next step is get entities related to a collection. Now I did want, ah, nice. I, I wanted to make sure that we focused on domains because there were a lot of different types of IOCs and that would take the investigation quite a while. So uh, the list of domains that's returned, um, this is what I'm expecting. And I know that some of these domains are present on my test system. I have a, a utility that replays uh, security scenarios log story and log story has loaded a scenario where some of these domains, in fact, Ersniff uh, is present on that system. So um, we're next expecting to pivot to see using the SecOps MCP uh, server, which indeed it is doing, and it's getting IOC matches. So I'm hoping to see matches uh, for some of these domain names. And we're looking back for 72 hours. We've got IOC matches, that's looking good. Now, I think that that is uh, the list of the 50 most recent IOC matches, not just the ones that match with um, our query. Okay, none of the domains from the GTI collection were in recent SIM IOC matches. So now we're pivoting over to uh, uh, search security events. Now, I think had I looked back further, um, either more results or um, longer timeline, that I would have found them through IOC matches. Well, it looks like while I was not looking, the report has been written. Okay, this is good. No related activity. Okay, so let's expand the window. That was 72 hours. Let's say, look back one week.
So I do see that the run book was executed successfully. It created um, the markdown report that I was expecting. It included the uh, workflow diagram, which is something that is um, um, named. It is uh, uh, instructed via the, the run books. So we're going back now 168 hours, but with max events 10. That seems like an unusual choice. Let's see what the results are there. Okay, well, there were 10 events for Superstarts Top in the last 168 hours. And that's nice. Network DNS requests. Looks like we're going through each of those domains one at a time. As well, we're waiting. We can look at the pretty preview of the report. Oh, are we rewriting the old report or? Yes, it looks like we are. So the report is being written, looks like to the same file name. Ah, this is something I was looking for. It does indicate the run book that was used for this. That's good. And here we go. We have a found IOC. And here again, number of events found. Let's look at a pretty preview of this. And events found. All right, well, I'm going to call that a success. Um, we were able to take a collection um, and collection from Google Threat Intelligence and search our own network uh, for the IOCs that were included in that. Uh, and so this is a, a good threat hunt.